What's up guys? I am so excited because this year we're finally going to finish this outdoor kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I finish the face of this wood-fired barbecue and more specifically how I'm going to build the arches under it. I have built not one, not two, not three, but four arches in my lifetime, which is probably four more than most people out there. Uh, today we're going to build two more and I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing you need to do is soak your bricks and I like to always pre-cut as many bricks as I possibly can before I start mixing mortar because it allows me to work a little bit more quickly. There are different methods that can be used to cut brick. I did a video on that. I will link it in the description if you want to check it out. To build these arches, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to build out the face of this barbecue to the height that I want my arches to start curving. At this point, the sky opened up and it created a little bit of a problem for me. Some of the rainwater got into the mortar mix, so it got a little bit more soupy than it should have been. Uh, but you know, I am not a mason, so as you're watching me do this work here and it is sloppy, uh, just know that because I've gotten my fair share of comments that weren't nice about my bricklaying and I'm not a mason. The only experience I've ever had is really doing this kitchen. So, uh, you know, I got it done, but clearly with time you get better at doing things like this. In doing this process, the most important thing is by the time you are, you are at your desired height, it needs to be perfectly level. So now we're ready to build the arches and to do that we're going to need to build some forms and these two forms here you've probably seen before if you follow the channel. This one here I used to build the opening of the brick oven and it is definitely overbuilt. Uh, it was the first one ever made and it didn't need to be so finely constructed but it definitely got the job done. Now this one was used for the brick barbecue and it is a lot bigger and definitely a lot beefier and the reason for that is because this was holding full size bricks and it was a big arch which meant there was going to be a lot of weight on it. And so to make sure that this didn't collapse I used something that's a little bit thicker and more sturdy. For this particular project I'm going to need to make two identical forms that are relatively small and they're not going to be needed to hold up a lot of weight which means I can use a thin material for the shape. I think the idea here is to keep things simple. As long as you have a nice shape curve that you think is going to look nice and it will hold up the weight of those bricks that you're going to be putting on top of it, it will work just fine. Before you put your form into position, put it on the floor and dry fit the arch first. You want to make sure that you have enough bricks prepared, that way you can move quickly once you're ready to go and start mortaring everything together.
If you want to build a barbecue like this, I do have plans available there in my Etsy shop. I'll put the link in the description. If you want to support my channel, please think about subscribing. If you would like to support my channel even further, I am selling hats like this one also in my Etsy shop, and I'll put that link in the description as well. Now here's a tip I did not know when I built the other arches, and that is that you do not need to leave the form in for 24 hours. In fact, they only leave it in there for about four hours, and that allows me to go and fix the joints that need to be fixed and cleaned up. If you wait a full 24 hours, the concrete will be too hard and you're kind of stuck with what you got. To finish off the top of the barbecue face, I ordered another piece of granite, just like the one I ordered for the pizza oven a couple of years back. That way it all matches. Now, if you're going to order a piece of granite, make sure you tell them that you want the bottom of these pieces to be left unpolished. That way you get better adhesion to the concrete mortar that you're going to use underneath this. Now, if your brickwork is as messy as mine, you can use some muriatic acid to help clean some of the mess on the face of the brick. If you want to build this barbecue, I do have plans available in my Etsy shop. It will be linked below in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions, please put those in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you in the next one.